Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind data into your data list control and image from the project folder. And here we got the output, the images, the product name Apple iPhone, product description and price. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the source and coding part in ASP.NET, let's check my database table. The table name is a product category. Right now in this table contains 5 records and 6 columns. The first one ID is auto generate column. The second one is a product catalog, product name, product description and product price. And in this column I have not stored the image. I just saved the image path. The original image I have saved in the project folder. Let's open my visual studio. In this web form source page I have added the header tags h1 and h2 and horizontal line. And images are stored in the images folder, laptops, mobile TV are the subfolders. When I expand that these are the original images. Let's add the data list control in this source code. After the horizontal line go to toolbox I'm expanding the data, the data list control. And I'm adding the property repeat columns 3. And I want a space between the columns, which is a cell, padding is equal to 2. Now in this data list, I am adding the columns of the table. So for that, I need the item template. Item template. I am adding a table. TR, TD. The first column is. I am not adding the product catalog. I am adding the product name, product description, product price, and image. So the first column product name break and next td percentage hash eval Between double quotes, between double quotes, I'm adding the column name, which is a product name. Tr. Td. Now here I'm adding the image. Go to toolbox. Expand the standard. Image control. Image URL. Is equals to between single quotes percentage hash eval I am adding the image column name which is the product image product image here I am adding horizontal line TR TD product description TD hash eval between double quotes I am adding the product description column which is product DESC Product description TR TD price TD percentage hash eval between double quote product price in the image. Control, I'm adding the height 
and width 120 and width 120 that's it we have done the designing part now the coding part right click the source code view code the first thing I'm adding the namespaces of SQL server using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces now I can able to access the SQL server classes and methods in this web form page now in this page load I am adding my connection strings string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes dot connection string now here between the double quotes I am adding my connection string name solution explorer come to the bottom web dot config file my connection string name is cornstr I'm pasting here SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this variable SQL connection main connection string SQL query is equals to select star from the table name which is dbo dot product catalog dot product catalog SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query the second one is the SQL connection object which is SQL con SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter SDA dot select command SQL command data set class ds is equals to new data set now i'm filling the data set in sql data adapter sda dot fill method ds data list one dot data source the source i'm getting from data ds data set data list one dot data bind method I'm binding the data into the data list control after that the last one SQL connection I'm closing that's it we have done the designing and coding part let's check the results on the Google Chrome and here we got the output the images the product name Apple iPhone product description and price 